Uh, it's Anya Devine here. Have a look at the links below. This is uh, to know more about me. This is part two of the um, painting I started earlier. Um, interrupted by a phone call from my daughter asking me to buy milk on the way home. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So I'm really, it's almost just filling in, you know. I don't know what this is going to be like. I feel like I'm still working in a fairly crude way. But uh, it's okay, you know. I'm still enthused enough about it. Filling in the field beyond the trees with a palette knife and a mixture of cerulean blue and uh, cadmium orange and cadmium yellow and occasionally some um, white to lighten it up in places. It's describing that field. A fairly thick paint. Yeah, there's kind of a lack of finesse that's slightly bothering me, but um, I'm just going to trust it for now. So that bush there is a slightly different colour. quite a bit more dark in that tree I reckon. So I'm mixing the ultramarine blue and the Van Dyke brown to make a colour for down here where the grass in the foreground meets the foliage of that tree. closing my eyes so that I don't see too much. I just wanted to establish the darks and lights. So yeah, let me see now where uh -huh. so there's some foliage there. It's obstructing the trunk in places and it's as dark as the trunk although it's a different colour <coughs> just really pushing it on pushing the paint in and stabbing it it actually it's kind of good news as well making a kind of a drumming noise <laughs> across. I like these overhanging leaves there, which aren't that colour at all. So we need to put the cadmium orange into the viridian green in order to make it that muted green that describes the deciduous leaves. feels more tree-like somehow. People are very chatty here, there's quite a few folks stopped to talk to. Um, those who are painting down by the path, I'm up a little bit higher so I'm avoiding socials. Although I had a lovely chat there at lunch, it was nice. Today I decided I was going to stop and chat to people on the course even with me. Like yesterday, these are my friends as well. Like. Yesterday I just had this relentlessness about me and it took all that. It meant that no matter how good the picture at the end, like there was a feeling of not having really participated. There was just something off about the uh, 
push, there was a bit of a push on me to, to work hard or something. I don't know how I got into that state because I normally put a lot of focus on looking after ourselves in the painting. It's good for me to have that wake up call again and know the importance of that. Especially now I'm going to be starting the online course next week in painting watercolour portraiture. So there's seven people signed up. You know who you are if you're listening. I'm looking forward to it immensely. And it's just really good for me to have had that timely reminder of how important it is to encourage. Well, for me anyway, any teaching I do has to contain some recognition of our physical needs, you know, to be comfortable, to work, to notice when there is discomfort and not to tolerate that for longer than, uh, you know, as soon as you notice it, to shake it off. Now, yeah, so that's going to be a part of, uh, an important part of the warming up of the and, and, and the course, you know, the lessons will be include will include physical warm ups. Okay, maybe it's time now to do sky colour. And this is bothering me a little bit because it feels like it's not really the colour that's there. I'm going to use the a bit of mount board and I'll try and clean up a space. Get some fresh space on the palette so that I can make that nice cornfield colour that I'm seeing in the foreground there. So I think it's cadmium orange maybe and some white. I'll try those two together first. Oh that's a lovely one of my favourite colours, that bright orange. It's not really what's there though so I'll keep going. And some cadmium yellow we're not cadmium yellow, so now I'm using the lemon yellow. And that's getting closer to the colour. I do want it to be probably brighter than it really is, to be honest. I think the painting can take it being a bit brighter. And what I'm going to do is use the edge of the mount card. I'll make it the edge of the palette knife, even. To place some of those, those bright... some of those bright grasses that are in the foreground. Yeah, just the, use the card nozzle. After those days. Flash or something here too. Just gonna stand back. Then is the sky. I'm gonna pause the video because I need to get more white. 